so here are the five Christmas trees that we are going to decorate with. I thought it was seven. Oh, the mud room and then the front room, but we're not doing an entryway. And then the mud room, I'm not decorating this year because most of that stuff is on theme with what Dylan wants to decorate his room. So he's taking over all of the mud room decor. So let's go ahead and put these Christmas trees up. <music> hello thank you for clicking and spending time with me welcome to my very first ever christmas video my name is sharita i'm a work from home mother of four my oldest is currently at boot camp for the military and i have three children still in the home guys I am so very excited from celebrating the birth of Christ, doing our Christmas traditions, making new memories, the Christmas magic and warmth and the Christmas hope that's in the air. Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday and this is my favorite time of the year. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to this Christmas season. In today's video, we are putting up Christmas trees. I share some items from my existing Christmas decor and we talk a little bit about my decor plans for Christmas 2022. guys so let's talk about decor for this year 2022 i was on a video call with my bestie the other night hey boo mm -hmm. <laughs> and she saw my bins and was like girl look y'all i have 22 christmas bins and depending on how much we buy this year it may increase to 23 24 look don't judge me <laughs> in the living room i always decorate with traditional colors red green and white with touches of glitter in the hallway i stick to more of a classic christmas with like tartan and poinsettias and i have this old school filled santa canvas which you will see if you keep watching in lauren's room she has a ombre pink and champagne tree her theme was gingerbread but we're going to change it up just a little bit this year so we'll see what we pull together for her room dylan's decor will be a wooden theme with black and white with pops of green zachary's decor is the grinch and my decor is minimal um but it's a cozy glam with greens light pinks champagne and maybe some gold i don't know what he wants now and i don't know why he said all the things he said to me he means nothing to me now Complain to drive all night, all day To celebrate Christmas with me Cause you're not here And I'm not there I don't know what you want now But I don't care Yeah, 
Isn't that amazing? In Christmas times Clearly, me and Lauren are having a grand old time. The boys just look at us like we're crazy. And as you can see, Zachary was not even participating. He was in his room, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to show us putting up all the trees because I think that will be boring. But I do show them at the end with the exception of Dylan's tree because he has the same tree as the dining room. Christmas in Christmas times. So here we are in Zachary's room. Originally he wanted a flock tree but changed his mind and got this white tree with colored lights. This tree reminds me of my grandmother's growing up. She had a white tree with tons and tons and tons and tons of tinsel. <laughs> if you're a Duncan girl, just to let you know, they do have their Christmas menu out. The toasted white chocolate iced latte with cream, two pumps of liquid sugar and cookie butter cold foam is very good. Highly recommend. I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better loosen your belt. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I pray it will never end. You like to be here too It's Christmas and outside snows All right, so here we have the Christmas sign. So I have this one which is from Walmart a few years ago. I have this one. I believe this one came from uh Burlington. Is that Burlington? I think that's Burlington. That's from Burlington. This outdoor Christmas sign I got off of the Christmas clearance last year from Joann's. And then I'm going to put this mat, air it, um, with another mat outside. I got that from Joann's from Christmas clearance last year as well. This one came from a Target dollar spot a few years ago. This one is for Zachary's room. He got this from Hobby Lobby this year. So we have this Santa mailbox as well as this sign. Typically this sign just stands right here because quite frankly I don't have anywhere else to put it but I really do like it. So these signs right here go along my name wall. So like this big one right here, it will go right here. And then all the other signs will replace it. So our names will stay but all the other signs like this one, that one, 
this one, that one, that one, and that one will go away and will be replaced by these Christmas signs. All right, so here we have the kids' bathroom stuff. I don't know where the hooks are right at this moment, but I'm sure I'll find them once I go through all of the bins. But this is Lauren's um, shower curtain and then one of her towels. So this is her color scheme or her color palette for her bathroom. And this is the boys. Um, once I find the shower hooks and put everything up, of course, I'll give you guys a closer look of everything. All right, so here is pretty much, I mean, there's another bin of some kids stuff, but this is pretty much all stuff related to the kids. Um, there are some boxes here. These boxes I used um, in previous years for Lauren's Christmas tree, um, just to put underneath the Christmas tree. And then when she had a gingerbread kind of theme her theme is changing this year so I have to go and get new stuff so when I get that stuff of course I will include it um, in the video so here's our advent calendar all these little items that you see oh and this is the boys um, some of their Christmas tree ornaments now that they have their own trees this year I bought these a while ago though but we never used them but all of these ornaments here, I used last year. We went out of town for Christmas, so I wanted to do something different. So what we did, hold on, let me show you. All right, so I would use these boxes, and I got these from Amazon. I can link these as well, but this is what they look like put together. I absolutely love them because they're big enough. So depending on what type of ornament that you get, what size, it's going to fit. Um, so we did the 24 days of Christmas like an advent calendar so pretty much like with this one here I put this in a box so when the kids opened it then that night we would go and put the reindeer feed out which was typically Christmas Eve you know so the reindeer would know where to find us we put the reindeer out since we were out of town the reindeer feed out since we were out of town and like this one here we had went to Tennessee last year so with this one um, this was like to resemble it looked like to me to resemble um, um, Dolly Parton in Dollywood so this was an ornament that we used I got this one from Walmart and it does light up I'm not sure if they have that this year this one was an ugly sweater. So one day when they opened it, you know, we did ugly sweaters. This one I really liked because I wanted us to do a Christmas puzzle together as a family. So um, last year in one of the boxes, I had this and it says the best gifts around our Christmas tree are the heartstring pieces we build together making memories, Christmas 2021. And then on the back, it has our names. Together we make a family, Sharita, Bryce, Zachary, Dylan, and Lauren. And then when they opened it, you know, they had to guess what we were doing. And so when they guessed puzzle, then of course, I mean, we didn't finish this puzzle that night. It took us a few days, but we all sat together and did it as a family. And then, so that's pretty much how these gifts worked. You know, we put these in a box, the TV ornaments and the popcorn. So when they opened it, it was watch a Christmas movie and eat popcorn or it was make your letter to Santa. That's typically the first one, you know. So those were the things that we used. So more than likely I'll do that again this year. The kids seem to really enjoy that. Besides just opening this and getting candy, they really enjoyed actually doing something together. So I just got to come up with some new items that we can do. Um, let's see, where should I start? Because there's quite a bit and I don't want to bore you guys I just wanted to show you some of the items these are some of the stockings that I got hold on let me open them up okay so these are the stockings I got I ordered these from Amazon I can link these as well I'm sure they're probably still available especially around this time of the year but I got these off season um because they were a little bit cheaper but I'll go ahead and link them so anyway these are the stockings I got and I just took them to the place in the mall and I had the lady um embroider our names on them so all of our names are on them. And it came in a pack of, I think four. Yeah, it comes in a pack of four. So I had to order two packs. So there's the other pack with my mom and Zachary's name on it. So she spent Christmas with us out of town last year. And then this bin, this bin is summer everything because this is the bin that we took out of town. So anytime we go out of town for the holidays, I try to bring Christmas or whatever holiday, typically it's always Christmas, with us so it feels like christmas even in the in the um 
the condo or hotel room wherever we're staying so these are some ear things that's not really decor stuff but that's that there's another band that i took these are the stocking hangers that i have but i think i'm going to change them up this year so i did see something in somebody else's video when they did a christmas shop with me and i was like oh i like that they were in target so i want to go back and look at that in person myself but it looks like it's something that i would like so i want to go and check that out all right this is the other bin that i took with us out of town so it has some decor stuff I really like these lights, um, these string lights that resemble light bulbs with little snow and Christmas trees in them. I really like these. I do have them on a wreath because I used it in the mud room. But here are some other items. So this type of stuff is what we had in the mud room. It was like a woodland theme with like green, black, and white. So Dylan um, is going to take over that stuff, which is pretty much what these are here. I have more stuff. I just got to dig through these bins and find it because normally my bins are organized. But because we went out of town last year, everything is everywhere when I was trying to pack stuff for the trip. So like these are probably going in his room. I don't know if he wants the red, but I know he'll want this. So this will go in his room. I got these from Michael's. That's a Michael's tag. Yeah, that's Michael's. So I got those from Michael's. Oh, and by the way, Michael's is all inside of Ross this year. So actually today I'm going to go to Ross. Um, Let's see here. What else? These are all of my wreaths. So let me open this up and show you guys. Okay, I had to close the curtains because, I mean the blinds, because it was so bright. I don't know if you guys would be able to see. But this is the wreath that I normally hang in the mud room. I took it with us last year. Um, let me see if you guys can see it. But there it is. And I had the lights around it, strong around it. But I really like this wreath. I think I got this one from, I think, Joann's. More than likely it's Joann's. I typically get all of my wreaths from Joann's. But that was that one. And then this was some garland that I use. I typically put it over there, like string it across there. So this is the garland that I use. And then these are just ornaments that I use on my Christmas tree to match over here. Um, and it has lights on it. So that is the garland I use for that. Here's the wreath that I put outside on the door. And then this is another one that I would use for decor. Oh, you know what? I think that was over there in the in the hallway. And then that's the typically the front door um, wreath. This is another wreath that is like an outdoor wreath. I got it as a set. You know how it comes with the wreath, the two little Christmas trees and the garland for outside. That's what this wreath is from. I don't think I've ever actually used it though so it might just be time for me to go ahead and get rid of that whole set because I don't think I've actually ever used it so it's pretty much brand new um, and this is another re that I have this was in the front room yeah this is in the front room the front room was like a really glam winter wonderland kind of thing these are all of our Christmas mugs so there's one here there there's some there. This is one that I got, I think, after the clearance from Hobby Lobby. After the Christmas, uh, after Christmas clearance. This one here. So, there's some in here. So, when I do my hot cocoa bar, you guys will see all of those in detail. What is this? Oh, this is a bowl. I think this was after Christmas clearance. I don't remember we had that before. Probably was after Christmas clearance. All right, some cookie cutters that I also got from the clearance. Those are from Joann's. Some more Christmas blankets. These are from Michael's. There's another blanket down there. There's two, no, there's three of these presents. This is the biggest one. The other ones are, you know, nested in between underneath. So, that was in the mud room as well. I don't know if Dylan will want these under his tree, but if he does, he can have those. So yeah, Zachary has to get new stuff because he's doing a Grinch theme and I've never had any Grinch items. So he'll have to get new stuff, him and Lauren. All right, here's the Christmas stuff. So Lauren's theme this year is pretty much this color palette. 
And then this is stuff that she's had the previous year. So she had, like I said, a gingerbread thing. So this is all of her stuff, her previous ornaments. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to be using any of these items come this year. We might use that tree. We might use the pink one. But yeah, all these gingerbread ornaments that I got from the clearance after Christmas clearance from at home. I don't even think we're going to be using these this year. So I have to find somebody to give those to or figure it out. And let's see what else. Okay, here's a, another bin. This looks like this is Christmas living room decor. So like the decor I put on my open shelving. That's what this looks like. Yeah. So these I'll probably put in Lauren room this year. But this is all my... Christmas decor shelving. There's some trees there from Hobby Lobby. This little sign. Let's see. What's this? Oh, picture frames. Yeah. All of those are just picture frames. And a little book stack. What's this? Leave me alone. I'm watching Christmas movies. Absolutely love that sign. So here's these tall Christmas cones. Those are the tall Christmas cones. And then ooh, there's another one. So there's two of those. Very glittery. There's some more Christmas cones. There's this little sign that Dylan wanted me to get one year. So I got that. So yeah, we have, I want to get some more shelving decor, open shelving decor. So we'll see if I'm able to find something that I like. If not, then I will continue on with what I, what I have until I find something. Maybe after Christmas, I don't know. So I'm going to go today and look and see. And this thing is all like games and stuff that I took on the trip or games that I play with the kids for Christmas. These are also a little bit of bows and some um, gift tags and gift boxes. That's what's in this bin. So I don't need this bin just yet. These are ornaments that I use to decorate with because they um, go with the ornaments that's on the tree. So these ornaments I typically put in this lantern here. I put those ornaments, well not all of them, but I do put ornaments those ornaments in that lantern and this bin is some tree ornaments a lot of these I got after Christmas you'll see the sign still on the tag still on uh, the clearance Christmas sale clearance so I have these I have a lot of these but we're not using gold I don't think so I don't know if I can find somebody maybe hold on to them to next year if I don't use them next year then I'll get rid of them I do really like these though so we'll see what happens with those so, yeah, these I do use on this year's, on our Christmas tree, our main Christmas tree. I used these the first year, but I'm not, I haven't used them since then, so probably time to get rid of those. And I think that is what is in here. Okay, over here is my kitchen Christmas bin. So this is all the stuff I use for the kitchen. So I put that on the pantry door, which I love, because then I can be, who in that pantry? <laughs> I do have this I got this from Hobby Lobby but I did see in someone's um, video home with Ava I think it is um, she was in I can't remember which store but they had I think it was Big Lots they had a case like a four pack of white Santas and a four pack of black Santa so I do want to go to Hobby now um, Big Lots and see if my Big Lots has those there are some plates that I use for the hot cocoa bar some signage some more coffee mugs I love hot chocolate so all this stuff we'll see in great detail when we do our hot cocoa bar let's see more coffee mugs yeah because all this stuff is still wrapped more stuff it's a hot chocolate kind of day and I do make my hot chocolate from scratch so I will be sharing that recipe when I do my hot cocoa bar 
so we have this one here this came from target i think the dollar spot and then oh and i do have this one too this big one this glass one i got from michael's years ago so i use that one when we're home and then i use this one when we're out of town and then in this big bin i have tree skirt um, the big ornaments that I put on the tree, our tree topper, our little star tree topper, some more big ornaments. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's our mudroom Christmas tree. That's also the Christmas tree I take out of town. So that is that one. But I don't have a need for it this year. So since I'm not putting that decor in the mudroom, since Dylan's taking it, there's no need for that tree. So I'll leave it in there. And then these are the smaller ornaments for the Christmas tree. I have those and I have these as well. I really like these, but by the time I got to them, I think this was clearance. There were only two of them, but I do use, oh, and this white one, so three. But I do use these because they're really, really pretty. And then these are the Christmas ribbons that I use on the tree as well as these there's that one too i haven't used that one i haven't used that one either and i have not used that one but these i've used all right so i got these wreaths here let me let me take it out let me see if i can do this so i got these from joanne's a few years ago can you guys see how pretty that is it's like a wood like that wood so pretty all right guys we have made it to the end thank you so much for clicking and spending time with me today if you're a subscriber thank you so much for your support if you enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber please consider being a part of our growing youtube family if you have an idea you would like for me to do in an upcoming christmas video let me know in the comments down below see you on wednesday guys bye